Welcome back into Gearheart Radio, everybody. On the phone, we have a very special guest talking about the WWE SummerSlam Heat Wave Tour coming to the East Kentucky Expo Center this Sunday, July 22nd. He is a three-time wrestling national champion, four-time wrestling All-American, two-time Armed Forces champion, ECW champion, United States champion. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, of course, I'm talking about no one other than the dominator, Mr. Bobby Lashley. Bobby, how you doing, buddy? I'm fantastic, man. I think I'm going to need to take you around with me all the time to give me an intro like that. <laughs> well, I may take you up on that offer one day, man. I've been a big fan of wrestling my entire life. I've grew up watching it, you specifically, so it's a pleasure to talk to you this evening. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Hey, so I've got a, a few questions here for you. The Dominator, your nickname, how did that come about? Um, you know, it, they, they kind of looked at it from my wrestling style. Um, my style is a little different than everyone else's. I mean, exactly from you and seeing what I've done. I mean, I'm not the um, like the choreographed flippy dude. I'm, I'm, I go right after you. I try to beat people down. I try to beat people up and, and ultimately dominate them. You know, to win. And then my finishing move is a dominator also. So, I mean, it's just all in one. It's just kind of like a package deal. Yeah, man, so uh, everyone gets their start somehow. How did you get into professional wrestling? Well, my mine was I was actually at the Olympic Training Center training, and um, Kurt Angle was there for the WWE doing some work. I think he was doing some film work, some video work. And when he was doing that, he, he saw me training, and, and he just came up to me and he was like, man, he said, do you look like? And then after that, we started talking a little bit more. He said, man, I think that you'd be a great asset to the WWE ever think about getting into it. And at the time, I was a big fan of Kurt. And I loved watching Kurt. I loved um, seeing what Kurt was doing because Kurt came from the same background that I was. And uh, we just exchanged numbers and just kept talking over the years. And, and then one thing led to another, and, and I was in. Do you being a big fan of Kurt Angle, how did it feel having him come up and talk to you like that? It was, it was awesome. It was awesome because I actually w- watched Kurt when Kurt was in amateur wrestling. So I knew a lot of what Kurt was doing from the amateur wrestling background. And then so when I saw him in WWE, I was watching him in WWE and um, never had an opportunity to meet him. And then one day we were at training and cameras for WWE were in there and, and Kurt was running around doing his thing. And I was like, man, this is awesome. And then just after practice was over, Kurt just came up to me to start talking to me. Oh, wow. I that was cool also. And then one thing led to another <laughs> stuff man and uh, like i said i've been a big fan of wrestling all my life and the very first wrestlemania that i ever bought on pay-per-view was wrestlemania 23 one where uh, you were in a uh, one of the main events and a very special main event too it was the hair versus hair match where it was you versus umaga and you were uh, representing our now president mr donald trump with umaga representing vince mcmahon so uh now with old donald trump being president what what are your thoughts and uh looking back on that match that match was like one of the matches that kind of set the tone for my for everything for me um it was it was just an awesome experience and i i didn't know how big that match was going to be um, I didn't know how, how big that match was going to be, and and now just kind of looking back at it, it just it seemed like it was just a huge, huge, huge deal. Shout out to Donald Trump. And uh, now talking about the future, what can people expect this Sunday at the East Kentucky Expo Center? Oh man, it's just going to be an amazing experience. It's Monday Night Raw, of course, so it's going to be all the superstars from Monday Night Raw doing the same thing that we always do, just having a great time having a great wrestling match and, and then putting on a great show for Pikeville. I mean, Pikeville is probably one of the first places that I started out with. So, um, I mean, when I was down at OVW. So, of course, being able to come back out there, it's just kind of surreal for me to have an opportunity to go wrestle again in a place that I um, kind of started, kind of originated from. Well, Bobby, it's going to be good to have you back, buddy. It really is. And we will see you this Sunday at the Expo Center. Thank you, man. Hey, thank you, Bobby. All right, folks, that was the WWE's very own Mr. Bobby Lashley talking about the WWE SummerSlam Heat Wave Tour coming to the East Kentucky Expo Center this Sunday, July 22nd, with tickets starting at just $15. So be sure to pick up your tickets today and keep it locked right here on Gear Heart Radio.